Let's listen to Defendant's Exhibit 598C, which is already in evidence. And let's not do this anymore, because I'm really getting frustrated. And I'm really, really, really sick of this Stop. argument. Stop. I'm sorry. Okay? So let me go, and you go, and I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay? Stop. Okay. Why are you saying stop? May I so, go? Please, it causes me so much stress when you leave, when you walk away from me. With that, it's like you're you don't understand how much worse you're making this. I can't believe this. Please, you're making it worse for me. Okay, I'm sorry for you. Please, I'm only trying to tell you so that you know you're causing me immense stress right now when you walk away like that. There's no reason to be mad. Well, I'm then say goodbye. I haven't walked away. You're not saying goodbye. You won't let me fucking leave. Let me leave. Oh Stop rushing me! Stop pushing me in the corner and then poking me with a stick and then saying, why are you saying the words you want me to say? Stop poking me! Stop rushing me! Stop throwing me against the wall and going, what? You don't like that wall? You don't like the fucking wall? Stop pushing me! I'm not pushing you. I'm rushing you. I said, I need space. I don't want this conversation anymore right now. I need space. And I will take my space, whether you like it or not. I will take it. And you will take your space. But if you keep halting I'm not doing anything this and continuing I'm with not the rhetoric. I'm not continuing it. I'm be begging you to stop. I don't. Okay, stop. I'm just. I'm stop. Stop. Now I have to go. Okay? So we will speak to each other in a couple of hours. Okay? I hope you have a, some kind of revelation that makes you feel better. You know? I hope I do too. But uh, we'll just see when I get home. We'll just talk or we won't talk or we, you know, we'll finish this or we won't finish it. But this is not love. Well, this is not happiness. This is not. This is. Stop. I'm gonna die. This eight, I'm gonna fucking die. You're causing me so much stress. Please stop. Please. I, I feel like I have a heart attack almost every day. Please stop. Please then, then stop you, then, why, doing it. Please stop. He's so fucking mean. Why are you fucking with me? Bully. Stop. Please stop. I've been begging you not to fight. I just said, can we please have a normal argument? Just even a normal conversation, fucking like normal argument. And for the last hour, I've been begging you to please just leave it at that. Let's just go on with our night. I would have been able to come in with you. We would have been able to let it go in a few minutes. It would have been fine. It would just if we allowed ourselves to have fucking normal arguments. Please, you're killing me with this. You're killing me. You're fucking killing me. Fuck. John, could you, uh, please, I, I want you to just go, I want you to take your medicine or whatever. I'm sorry that I've upset you. Yeah, I think, thank you, Sean. I'm yeah. ready to go. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry. I'm really ready. Thank you. That's you and Mr. Depp in the recording, correct, Ms. Heard? That's correct. You just won't let him go, will you? That's not true. We were outside of his studio and he wanted to go and use. It was a pretext. The, the, the claim that he was upset with me was a pretext so that he would go and go on a bender. I knew that pattern by the time this recording happened. Is your testimony now that you were outside Mr. Depp's studio? I believe that that he was recording gonna go was... Use? Excuse me? He was going to go use drugs? That's your testimony now? We were outside his studio, his man cave house, if you will, in the car, I believe, during that recording. And he was going to go inside and use? That was the pattern. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm very, very, very scared of entering into the next cycle under, under what I had been conditioned to understand we were at at that point in our relationship. That's not true, is it, Ms. Heard? Mr. Depp was trying to go inside his house to see his daughter, Lily Rose. She might have been over that day, but so that's not your what testimony he was getting now. out of the car to do, and that's not what I was stopping him from doing. Okay. Let's play the beginning part of that recording where Mr. Depp tells you that he wants to go inside to see his daughter.
let's not do this anymore because I'm really getting frustrated. And I'm really, really, really sick of this argument. Stop. I'm sorry. Okay? So let me go, and you go, and I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay? Stop. Okay. Why are you saying stop? He's, May he's I so go? We'll circle back to this, but it's your testimony that you were outside Mr. Depp's studio. We were in the car. You were in the car outside mm -hmm. of Mr. Depp's studio. That's correct. And he wasn't telling you, please let me go inside my house to see my daughter. He was indicating to you that he wanted to go inside to do drugs. That's your testimony. I know my testimony is that I knew what he was going inside to go do. I okay. knew what stage of the cycle we were in. I knew the patterns by then, and I was desperately out of time trying to interrupt that cycle.